Pirates Don't Go to Kindergarten by Lisa Robinson, illustrated by Ida Caban. On the first day of kindergarten, Emma raided her sea chest. Treasure map? Check. Spyglass? Check. Cutlass? Check. She was ready to set sail. If only Cap'n Chu, the roughest, toughest, awesomest preschool pirate captain ever, could see her now. After a stormy crossing, Emma finally dropped anchor at school. She scanned her treasure map. Kindergarten, ho! But instead of boarding the kindergarten ship, she sailed into preschool. Ahoy, Captain Chu! Emma hollered. Ahoy! Good to see you, Emma, said Miss Chu. But the kindergarten classroom's down the hall. Emma peered through her spyglass. Wrong classroom, wrong cubbies, wrong toys. Worst of all, wrong captain. Pirates don't go to kindergarten, said Emma. Ocean's rough today, said Cap'n Chu. Batten down the hatches, mateys. I'm rowing this sailor to her new ship. Emma, meet Cap'n Hayes. She's in charge of this spaceship. Welcome! You're just in time for liftoff, said Miss Hayes. Emma leaped onto the gangway and stared through the hatch. Stars? Planets? Rocket ships? It wasn't the high seas, but maybe with a few changes here and there, it could work. But a new captain? No. Arr! Emma growled. You'll never take me alive! Splash! Emma swam back to Captain Chu's ship. Thump clump, she stomped her peg leg. Scrunch splat, she dug for doubloons and scattered sand. Yo ho ho, she sang at the top of her lungs. Pirate Emma, you know the rules, Miss Chu said. No throwing sand, and use your inside voice, please. Pirates don't follow rules! A kindergartner poked her head through a porthole. Miss Hayes needs a hand feeding the guinea pig. Can Emma come? Hi, Daniela, said Miss Chu. Emma, they need your help on the other ship. A guinea pig in need? Aye, aye, Cap'n. Back at the kindergarten spaceship, Daniela gave Emma a tour. She introduced Emma to lots of busy astronauts before taking her to see some special cargo. Say hello to our guinea pig, Betty. Blimey, she's a pirate pig. I'm going to call her Beastly Betty. After she snuggled and fed the pirate pig, Emma inspected her kindergarten spaceship. There was a nature center, but no Captain Chew to look at seeds with. An art studio, but no Captain Chew to show her paintings to. A reading nook but no cap and chew to read books to her. There were even some astronauts doing experiments at a space station, but still no cap and chew. Pirates don't feed pigs! Splash! Emma swam back to Captain Chew's ship. Emma mustered some mates and seized control of the preschool ship. Mutiny! The pirate band sneered and snarled, whooped and hollered, raced up the rigging, and climbed to the crow's nest. Then, one by one, they fell asleep. Hey! Pirates don't take naps! I've come to parley, said Miss Chu. How do I get my ship back? Come with me to kindergarten. But I have to lead this new band of pirates. Then walk the plank! Emma brandished her cutlass. Tie her up, mates. It's time to join your new mates, Miss Chu said. Kindergarten looks like fun, Emma whispered. But I won't sail with a new captain. Shiver me timbers, peg leg Emma. Captain Hayes is the finest captain in the universe. Emma slid closer. But she's not you. I'll miss you too, Miss Chu hugged Emma. 
Can pirates visit their old captain and borrow her bandana? Of course. Miss Hayes rode into the room. We're short one crew member for our spaceship. Can you spare someone brave and strong, like Emma? Heave ho, shark bait! The astronauts and beastly Betty need me! Emma swam away from Captain Chu's ship. Splash! Open the shuttle hatch! Pirates do go to kindergarten. Space Pirate Emma reporting for duty.